Welcome to my channel, Mastery Math. My name is Julia Cox, and today the focus will be on numbers and operations of 4.2D. Students uh, should round whole numbers to a given place value through the hundred thousands place. I went ahead and made an asterisk here so we'd know where we need to go, and I went ahead and read a num wrote a number out for us to work on. And then I've made the decimal because we're only working in whole numbers. And before we uh, move on, there's just like a little thing that I do with students. And uh, I tell them if when we're rounding, whatever number we're rounding, we look to the right. If the number is five or more, we raise the score. If it's four or less, we let it rest. Four or less, we let it rest. Five or more, we raise the score. All right. So the number that we're going to be working with is 987,352. And I went ahead and wrote this little uh, visual out for you to look at. Rounding. Four or less, let it rest. Five or more, raise the score. So, we're going to start at the tens place. So, we're going to look to the right. If this number is five or more, we're going to raise the score of this number. This number is less, so we're going to let it rest. So, this number is less, so we're going to let the five rest. So, we're going to bring the five down. And then the two is just going to, the numbers behind the number that you're rounding is just going to be a zero. The numbers in front of it are going to stay the same, so you just bring those numbers down and make sure that they're in the correct place value. So, 987,352 rounded in the tens place is going to be 987,350. Now let's try the next one, moving to the left. Now we're going to go in the hundreds place. So we look to the right. Five or more, we raise the score. So the three, going to raise the score. So the three is going to become a four. The numbers behind it are going to become zeros. And then the numbers in front of it stay the same. So 987,352 rounded in the hundreds place is going to be 987,400. Now let's continue to move to the left. Now this time we're going to look at the seven. We're rounding in thousands place. So we're going to look to the right. If it's five or more, we're going to raise this score. If it's four or less, we're going to let this number rest. So this number, the seven, is going to rest. It's going to stay the same. The numbers behind it are going to be zeros. Then the numbers in front of it, you're going to bring them down. So 987,352 in the thousands place, it's going to be 987,000. And that makes sense because 7,352, 7, is it closer to 7,000 or is it closer to 8,000? And that makes sense. 7,352 is closer to 7,000 than 8,000. All right. So now we're going to continue moving to the left. What about the 8? And that's in the ten thousands place. We look to the right, five or more, we raise the score. That's five or more, so we're going to raise the score. So this eight is going to become a nine, and the numbers behind it are going to be zeros, and the number in front of it is going to stay the same. So 987,000 rounded in the ten thousands 987,352 rounded in the ten thousands place is going to be 990,000 rounded in the ten thousands place. Now we're going to move one more place. We're going to round in the hundred thousands place. So we look to the right. 
If the number is five or more, we're going to raise the score of this number. And so this number is from 900,000, it's going to go from nine to 10. So we're going to move the place over. So it's going to be 10. All of these numbers behind it are going to be zeros. And that makes sense because 100 or 1 million, we have 987,352. This number is that closer to 87,000? Is that closer to uh, 987,000? Is that closer to 1 million or 900,000? And when you're looking, it's closer to 1 million. Now I'm going to show you uh, a trick real quick that students uh, have learned uh, through doing uh, rounding in uh, the hundreds uh, place and the um, tens place. So say that you have 97. If you're rounding in the tens place, 97, 97 dollars. That would be, I mean, in the tens, it would be closer, is it closer to 90 or is it closer to 100? And when you're looking, you know that that's closer to 100. So it would be like this. Students get confused sometimes about that, but that's actually, uh, you know, it's going from 9 tens to 10 tens, and 10 tens is $100. Now, what about if you have, um, sometimes students get confused on hundreds. What about if you have, and oh, let's go ahead and, uh, yes, Okay, so if we have 925, is that closer to 900 or is it closer to 1,000? It's closer to 900. What about if you have 851? Is that closer to 800 or is it closer to 900? It's closer to 900. So you can look at the numbers and visually see. What about the tens? Sometimes students get confused on that. What about if you have 57? Is that closer to 50 or is it closer to 60? It's closer to 60. So, you know, that's important to, you know, just visually see that. Okay, I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you like the video, click like. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions or comments, please share. If there's uh, any videos that you would like me to uh, post moving forward, uh, please leave uh, comments or suggestions and uh, I will try to get to that as soon as possible. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you.